As a 12 year old, I was a terrorist. <laughs> okay, proud, proud to say it, because as, as a 12 year old, I threw stones at the British Army on the streets of Strabane and Derry, and that deemed me to be a terrorist. Okay, I grew up in the type of community, both, both, both in, in, in Northern Ireland, where that's, that, 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 that was the language of the street, and that's the language you grew to understand. That's the language that's embedded in a lot of the, the sort of individualised, sectorised communities that, that are growing up, up around London, because that, that's the language of the street, and that's the language that kids are actually feeling. Okay, I spent my life getting kicked out of uh, British Army Saracens, getting kicked black and blue as a 12-year-old, up until I joined Sinn Féin as a, when I became a, a legal party when I was sort of 18 and I moved to London when I was 27. The reason why I moved to London is following a very strong nursing career. I had a criminal record of six months of spent sentence and was just about to go to jail if I didn't get out of Northern Ireland. So that, that was the, that was the, <laughs> the, the policy. So all, all, always a socialist and always always fine. I marched with Ken and Derry when I used to come to Jerry, so Ken was one of the few men who actually came to Jerry in, in, in the mid-80s, as I'm sure you know, but we talk about young black and young youth. I'm a, I'm a unison branch secretary, like my colleagues are sitting in the National Nursing Sector in London, but it's important we, as a group, and respect sort of... From, for me, I joined Respect after being in the Labour Party for years and fighting on the left. I think Respect's a way forward. It's a new party. It's challenging. It'll reach out to youth in a way that none of the other mainstream parties do. And you breed terrorism amongst youth if you if you alienate it. Okay, I, I grew up. I I I go home and I look at headstones, and I don't want to see anybody in this room. And black, black youths go home and looking at headstones. They look at headstones of. 20 year old guys who were lost, been, sh been in shit to kill policies in the streets of Northern Ireland. We had that in, in London, it's John Church demanded. You know, it wasn't that long ago since Irish men were shot in Shepherds Bush and shit to kill policies. You know, it's really, really important that, you know, young black youth, you don't, it's not about turning to gun crime because that, that's the easy way out, but I think it's also important within the Muslim, we identify, we, we get together, we, we withdraw that out, and it's within respect as a party to actually do that, because it's, it's easy to get sucked in. And once you're sucked in in a, in a terrorist organisation, you get isolated, you move into cells, and you get broke up, and then you become part of the problem, part of, part of the sort of stigma that you see this great British establishment. That's the reason why we're in Iraq, we're stopping terrorism. You know, but generally, you really, really have to sort of Get to the youth. There's not there's not enough youth here today, and our party needs to move forward and attach to that because it's really really important to bring it forward. But you know, as you know, I'm now sitting here as a, as a 50 year old man, and I know what, what black kids and young Muslim kids went through whenever I was a youth. So it's important that we know we don't replicate that or, or shoot to kill an internment becomes a part of the, the the British society. So it's important to fight it.